we continue with the next part of the story when toto was finally accepted by grandmother he was given a comfortable home in the stable where he had a companion the family donkey nana Now, typical Indians will name the animals also typically only as if they were to be humans. Now, where is the uh, monkey living? He is living along with the donkey in a stable. On Toto's first night in the stable, grandfather paid him a visit to see if he was comfortable. To his surprise, he found Nana without apparent cause pulling at her halter and trying to keep her head as far as possible from bundle of hay. When he went to check whether Toto was okay or not, he found the donkey in trouble. In fact, over there, what was the trouble? Apparent means without any particular reason. Okay, no, like no particular reason. Uh, he didn't even know why this donkey was acting so weird. He was pulling at his halter. The halter is either the uh, rope which is used to tie the do uh, donkey or the animal to a hook or to a rod or the leather strip as well. and he was trying to keep his head away from the stack of hay over the hay is dried grass grandfather gave nana a slap across her haunches haunches is the back portion above the tail uh, of a of an animal and she jerked back so she immediately gave a jerk back when she was hit at the back dragging toto with her Now, what was the reason of the donkey acting so weird it was toto He had fastened onto her long ears with his sharp teeth. Imagine the donkey has got long ears, so the monkey had had dug its teeth into the ears of the poor animal. So obviously the animal is going to act weird. Toto and Nana never became friends. Great treat for Toto during cold winter evenings was the large bowl of warm water given him by grandmother for his bath. Now grandmother had agreed, so she was taking care of the animal. So she used to give in winters a tub of warm water for the monkey to bathe. He would cunningly test the temperature with his hand, then gradually step into the bath first one foot and then the other, as he had seen me doing. Until he goes into the water up to his neck. Human beings usually check water by dipping a finger in the uh, water whether the temperature is apt for them to bathe or not. So because monkey is a very clever animal, he also saw the author doing it. So what did he do? He also dipped his finger very cunningly, very cleverly. He was dipped his finger to check the temperature of the water, and he and when he knew that it was feasible for him to, it was okay for him to go and bathe. Then he would go and. He must sell himself uh, till the knee, uh, till the neck. Once comfortable, he would take the soap in his hands or feet and rub himself all over. Imagine a dog, a monkey, having a bath with a soap. When the water became cold, he would get out and run as quickly as he could to the kitchen fire in order to dry himself. Now, because he has got wet. He has cleansed himself also. Now that the water is going cold, he needs some kind of warmth because it, because it is very cold outside. So he would run to the kitchen fire to get himself dry. If anyone laughed at him during this performance, Toto's feelings would be hurt, and he would refuse to go on with his part. How typical of Toto to do this? If anybody would uh, laugh at his any, you and I also seeing the monkey doing all this. He would also laugh, but if you were, were to laugh at him, then he would feel very bad. He would feel he would feel offended, and if he would feel offended, he wouldn't take a bath. Toto nearly one day, Toto nearly succeeded in boiling himself alive. How? Let's see. A large kitchen kettle had been left on the fire to boil for tea, and Toto, finding himself with nothing better to do, decided to remove the lid. Now there is a kettle over there in which water is kept to be is kept to boil to make tea. Now darling has opened the lid of it and got into the kettle, thinking it's warm water to bathe. Finding the water just warm enough for a bath, he got in with his head sticking out from the open kettle. This was just fine for a while. Until the water began to boil. Obviously, it was on fire. It was kept on fire, so it is going to boil. It's not going to be anywhere warm now. 
So Toto then raised himself a little but finding it cold outside sat down again. He continued hopping up and down for some time until grandmother arrived and hauled him half boiled out of the kettle. How hauled means literally pulled him, dragged him out from there. He didn't realize that he was actually boiling himself in that water. He was cooking himself. Like you, you, you cannot put yourself into water which is which has been uh, set on fire, like which has been kept on the fire at the fireplace to boil. Obviously not. If there is a part of the brain especially devoted to mischief, that part was largely developed in Toto. He was always tearing things to pieces. Whenever one of my aunts came near him, he made every effort to get hold of her dress and tear a hole in it. So if brain had to have a part of it for mischief, that part was fully or more than fully developed in this monkey's brain. One day at lunchtime, a large dish of pulao stood in the center of the dining table. Do you know what's pulao, right? Vegetables, lots of vegetables put in and then with spices and all we make a, we make a rice dish. Like it's made out of rice and uh, different households have got different varieties of pulao. Now this pulao was there over there for people to eat. We entered the room to find Toto stuffing himself with rice. It was gobbling the rice from there. My grandmother screamed and Toto threw a plate at her. When grandmother screamed, Toto hurled a plate at her. One of my aunts rushed forward and received a glass in the face. When one of the aunts tried to go there and see to that he doesn't do any more mischief, one glass was thrown at her. When grandfather arrived, Toto picked up the dish of pulao and made his exit through her window. Picked up the entire dish, the entire container of pulao and he was out of the window. We found him in the branches of the jackfruit tree. Jackfruit is nothing but cuttle. The dish still in his arms. He remained there all afternoon, eating slowly through the rice. Determined on finishing every grain. So he had liked the taste of it, let's assume. And now he wanted to finish off the entire thing. And then in order to spite grandmother who had screamed at him. Spite means to hurt somebody deliberately. Like you have a desire to hurt somebody deliberately. Because she had screamed at him, he threw the dish down from the tree. And chattered with delight when it broke into a hundred pieces. So it started jumping with delight over there, making sounds, chattering over there, say, uh, showing his happiness that just because you screamed at me, I have done this to you because your dish has now broken into a hundred pieces. Obviously, Toto was not the sort of pet we could keep for long. Even grandfather realized that. We were not well to do and could, no, no, could not afford the frequent laws of dishes, clothes, curtains and wallpaper. So grandfather found the Tonga driver and sold Toto back to him for only 3 rupees. So he had bought him for 3 rupees and when he realized that this monkey was not to be tamed, like it wouldn't be tamed, it wouldn't be domesticated, it wouldn't be disciplined. I cannot afford the loss of so many things in my house. So he sold the monkey back to the Tonga driver only, who, who he had bought the Toto from him for 3 rupees and he sold it off for no profit, no gain in the terms of money, but in the terms of the loss which incurred at home, that is that was not to be accountable. So children, please uh, finish off your work. Mark the answers. Be ready for tests. Now coming up assignments. I will give you a reference to context paragraph from the textbook. And I will frame questions on those paragraphs for you to become uh, habituated to write the answers on your own. Depending upon what content of the text has been given to you. So be prepared in that way also. I have told you the meaning of each and every word. Note it down so that you can use in your language 
uh, because there are certain words which we come across, they stick in our mind only and only when we use them, when we bring into usage either in writing or in spoken English. Thank you, dear.